Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson, Craft Creations by Kathy. Uh, today I'm going to show you a smash can um, floral arrangement. Um, I know I've done one about a year ago, a spring one. So we're going to do a St. Patrick's Day one. So I had some leftover um, St. Patrick's Day floral from Dollar Tree. I did pick up two new ones, but I had all these. I didn't know how much I had because it was in the basement, so I wasn't able to quickly look when I went to the store, and I figured I might as well just pick up a couple. Got some beads. I plan on using the beads to hang from the can. I'm going to stick some holes in the side. We'll zip tie it, and that will be our hanger. Uh, some floral foam I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um... This was a 28 ounce whole tomato can. Just do undo both sides. You can sand it if you want. We're gonna paint it chalk paint it white. We're gonna use Maj Paj and we're gonna put on this napkin. So I picked the napkin up at my local Giant Eagle store. So all we're gonna do is paint the can Um, my foam brush, I just cut it at an angle so I could get my brush in. In the paint can. Paint bottle. So we're probably going to be putting two coats on. I'm using a foam brush because I thought maybe that would give me smoother lines. Have some wet wipes handy. I'm a messy painter. Um, this is just going to be something I think I'm going to give to my husband so we can hang it up at the cemetery for his parents. Okay, we will let this first coat dry and we will make a second coat. Okay, I got double coat of the chalk paint on. And then what I'm gonna do, if you see this has, I'm gonna put the seam in the back. I'm gonna push down. So then you're gonna, we're gonna squeeze it close together, but I'm gonna go into my garage and we're gonna use the vise and we're gonna clamp it shut. Okay, I'm gonna use this vise. I'm gonna wrap a towel, Lily outdoor towel, huh? So we don't scratch up the paint. Just gonna squeeze it shut. So we're gonna do one half and then we're gonna do the other. About as tight as I can go on that side, I believe. So you can see it's and we'll touch up the paint. Um we'll touch up the paint again.
So we're getting closer and closer. My husband's going to put holes in the side. He has this contraption. It's kind of toward the front a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That'll fit a zip tie, right? Mm, I don't know. I've got bigger ones if you want. I forgot to tell him my plan. some holes a little toward the front now that we're all clamped and we have our holes punched in the side we're gonna need some touch-up paint so instead of using my big foam brush I think my paint is getting a little too thick I think I can always add water to my chalk paint And I want to get rid of all the shiny spots. Little chip paint. Some on the back. Did you see we got it? squeeze pretty good I did have to um, use some pliers at the end my little four inch zip ties will fit right in there and the hole punches I've never tried putting the napkin on first but I'm sure that probably would have damaged the napkin if I did that first and then tried to squeeze it so you could always squeeze it first, then paint it, or like I did, paint it and then squeeze it and then just do touch up. So I'm going to get this dry and I will be back. I feel super shadowy. Okay, so that's all dry. Got my napkin and I'm really bad at pulling them apart, so I started. So I just ripped kind of a little bit of edge. I did some Mosh Posh on my fingers. That's never really worked for me, but I've seen some people put um, tape on each side and pull it apart. So all we're gonna do, this looks like a two-ply napkin. So we're just gonna pull them apart. And, and you notice the napkins have like a texture on the on the outside so I don't really like that so I do have a paint pen it's not really a paint pen I should say it's a water pen I'll make sure the water's coming out here we go so with the water pen I can just draw a line squeeze I squeeze in too much. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was actually in their 
keep decorating. So then that's going to give me I didn't really want that one edge. So from there, going to just perforate off this edge to the side that has also the, uh, it's like all the way around. Let's see. I at least want it to go halfway there, halfway over there. So I'm right now going to go about here in between this lines here. That just gives it a wet surface. So that should work there to there. And I'm just going to be safe and do it at this fold. There. So why we did the can white is just so then you'll be able to see the pattern back on my wax paper. I was gonna say, I thought I brought another, I got another brush. I think I'm gonna pour some of this out. Just so I don't have to try to dip it. Whoops, probably too much. Clean off the edge. Give it a good coat of Maj Paj. I even have some saran wrap down here I brought down. So just make sure your surface is good and covered with the Maj Paj. Get a piece of the saran wrap out. So what this will help is so you because when you go to touch it, it's going to rip. It's going to rip the napkin because the Maj Paj is wet. So we're going to get this right here in the center. And you really can't move it around. So then I'm just going to pick it up. I'm going to smooth it. I'm using my Ceram Wrap. I'm going to smooth it out from the center out. Up, oh, see right there. If you do too, if you play with it too much, it will rip your napkin. I guess I'm supposed to just probably be dabbing my saran wrap. I think my last video was my first time I've ever done this, so I guess this is only my second time. I come back with the water paint or the yeah the water paint brush. I do the sides as well. I put some more paint, more napkin on the back. And 
And then come back with our Mod Podge. I'm just going to swing those edges down. So over here, I'm going to kind of put it behind and then I'm going to press the edges down. Same on this side, just getting a little bit on my brush. Go up underneath it a little bit and then we're just going to pull it down. So now this needs to dry and then we can put a coat over the top. I'm trying to think of how we can fix that one. Nope. Okay, dried it up with the hair dryer. Now I'm just going to get some Maj Paj over the top of it. This should seal it off. Just be careful like where I had ripped it. Just be careful. So I'm gonna pull it more. Good coating. And there's Miss Lily. A little bit more. Whoa. Well, maybe we're getting a visitor. Yep. Yep. My sister in law came to visit with little Ollie. You saw, I think I posted, um, I don't remember where I posted it, a picture of us that uh, we took the dogs to go see Santa. So, we have that picture and little Ollie. It's probably like 10 pounds, if that. Okay, so I clear coated, basically, is kind of what you're doing with the Maj Posh. So, I'm going to get that dry and then we're going to fill the inside. Okay, before I put the foam in on that, I'm gonna hook up my bead hanger. I'm just going to zip tie them. Okay, I don't need to hang her that long. I'm just going to tuck some in. hangs it but now since this is the back or what I called the back you know or if I hang it whoops where are you at if I hang it and it hangs on the wall Just try hanging it on the wall. I'm actually going to use the back as the front. So, I'm 
got a piece of my foam. I don't know. These are my husband's. Woodworking tool or something. We'll put that in there. But we're gonna cut off some more of the bottom. Maybe this won't cut my table. And we'll stick that in there. We could always stick little piece in there too if we wanted so all I did was get that square foam, foam block from Dollar Tree and cut off a slice okay, let's put that away put that away I have to plug in my glue gun so let me okay I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue I think on this side down here this side because I don't I don't know if it's gonna stick at all slide right in there kind of wanted okay so stick it in there oh a little bit of Spanish moss left Remember, I turned it around. I made the back, the front, actually. I'm just going to stick. I have some U pins. I'm just going to stick a couple in there just to hold the majority of the Spanish moss down. This out of here. Okay. And then we're just going to start stuffing. So whatever these carnations I already had. So you can use like the back of the styrofoam. Um, we can cut some smaller. If you want, you can hot glue these in as well. some without the greenery. I don't really feel like I hit any foam. Remember our foam piece wasn't very thick. I'm just gonna get as many flowers as I can in here. I bought actually have a cup of white. Uh oh. Okay, you're talking to me now. No, I'm not. I'm still fit. I'm still videoing. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You can help. Are you part like actively young? Oh good. I can help. Oh, came down to help. Oh, you came down to help. I'll come around the other side. So I'm just my oh, you've, got, you've got your NASCAR garb on. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday. I know. Oh, I like that. I figure we could put it at the cemetery. That would be perfect. I always have to tell. Little Ollie, don't poop. Don't poop. I know, I'm watching him right here. See, Uncle Dougie and I saw him take off when we first got here, and he thought he went to the bedroom. 
He didn't. I said, no, he's in the kitchen. Put some coins in. That turned out really good. And just depending on how much you want to put in there. <laughs> Little Holly wants to be on camera, huh? He does. I think he wants to be by Auntie Kathy more than anything. Oh, I, we got her the bestest Christmas gift ever. We got her a little, uh, the doggy holder so she can carry him around. <laughs> it's like a front backpack and he loves it. Because he loves being held. Yes. So you just kind of play around, see where you want to add more, add less. I feel like McCoy needs to be up front. What, we need something over here? Yeah, that one's kind of all by its lonesome in the back. Oh, in the back. There you go. Oh, I like the shamrock necklace. Yeah, I did the hanger up here. I do the hanger like that. That's a good idea. Oh, she's the one who has me on my budget, but. <laughs> Should I tell her I just bought that today? <laughs> Whoa. You gotta add something to the cell pile. See, that's what she tells me. So I think that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will hang it on the wall and get some pictures. Ollie Ollie. It's gotta come over a little further. You gotta come way over here. Look at Ollie Ollie. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> You're a movie star. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>